Lifeguards, if... Lifeguards, I move for $22,160. Second. Okay, seconded by Mr. LeBranch. In favor? I have a question, Madam Chair. What? I'm not sure who to ask. Last year we were asking the uh, rec director. Uh, and last year we actually increased this line, I'm afraid, because uh, the perception was that we weren't able to hire lifeguards because we couldn't show them enough green, that is to say enough money. And so we increased, I think, something on the order of 20%. Yep. And we ended up with no lifeguards again. It's still hard. To and get so yeah. I'm looking at this number, I'm saying, okay, it, it either needs to go up still higher or it needs to go to zero. Yeah. Or alternatively, a third possibility would be maybe we've got to set up a fund. We can throw the money in there when we can't hire anyone and then it build up until we have enough money to hire somebody. But just sitting here doing nothing just seems to be kind of a futile ex exercise. Oh. So please comment on that. We're unable to hire people because they're not applying for the jobs. Right. Mm -hmm. We had one applicant this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we need at least four. And and that's kind of the bottom line. The state's having the same problem. The town of Rye's having the same problem. Yeah. Right. The town of Northampton's having the same problem. Uh, we just have to, people are not willing to go out and do the training that's required in the Red Cross training system right. to get into this program. And yeah. even, even if we offered to pay for it, they're mm -hmm. still not willing to do it. So, so if we double this amount, we'll still have an equal chance of not getting anybody. It saying. could very well be. So then why the question we? is whether or not you want to appropriate funds and continue to try to get people instead of just posting the beaches, swim at your own risk. Well, it seems futile that you know to, to take the money from the taxpayers and say, well, we're not getting the, the lifeguards and sorry, but we tried, when in fact we know in advance we're not going to get them. Yeah. This would be the fourth year in a row that we haven't had lifeguards. Well, exactly. things could change next year, though. Could very well. We said that every year. And last year, I was in actively in that motion to increase it by over 20 percent, trying to get enough green out yeah. there to attract some people. And I'm happy to to do likewise again this year to throw more money at it in hopes that we can be first in line for the, the available lifeguards. Not get them. But if we're not going to do that, doing nothing and staying where we are now seems to me to be completely <coughs> futile. We had to just drop it to zero or increase it, one or the other. So that's my comment. Thank you, Madam Chair. Do you want to put it down? For a dollar? Yeah, I'll put it down for a dollar. That way, if they can find them, they'll they have a line item that allow them to spend the money out of the budget. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I guess I'd I make a motion to move that lifeguard that line to one dollar. I'll second that. Okay. We already yeah. had a motion on the table. You gentlemen withdraw. I'm the one that moved it. I, I, I hereby remove my motion. So okay, I'm so you want to withdraw the motion? And then we're going to do new motion. a new yes. motion to move the twenty two one sixty to one dollar. That line to a dollar. Good. In a second. Uh, that would be Mr. Lapple. Mm -hmm. Okay. In favor? Regina, what are you doing? Opposing. Okay. Mr. Kravitz and Mr. Oh, Lapham, you're in favor? Yep. Yes, okay. All right, Mrs. Barnes is declining the rest of the board committee. Could I, could I just make a comment? Yes, please. I'm not sure, Tim, you were here when, um, when Par Parks and Recreation, when Diana was speaking, but I thought I heard her say... I was that, not. Well, I thought I heard her say that she was not going to have any lifeguards next year. She's not. I thought I heard her say She that. doesn't expect it. She said it was moved from her budget. I walked in. I walked in. That's what I heard. Okay, yes. that's, that's what she budget. said. We moved from her budget. She wasn't yeah. even so sure where it was. There used to be a lifeguard line. At, the lifeguards used to be a line at the very end of the recreation budget, I believe. Right. Yes. I think it was right at the, like the last line. Yeah. 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 This year we pulled it out and moved it over here as we did street lighting. Okay, street because street lighting used to be under public works. Right. Now it's over here. See, that's mm -hmm. why I, I voted for one dollar, I basically yeah. to defund it just because I thought I heard her say she yeah. wasn't going to have life. Oh, she just said it was moved, so she didn't know who she she wasn't sure who was going to be in charge. Yeah. Well, we don't Stephen, know if we will. Stephen, I arrives at the end of her presentation. I'm the one that asked the question. Her response was that she's no longer charged with hiring anybody. It's not in her budget. And inform me that it was under okay, other thank services. No. Thank you for having me waiting like that. Thank okay. you. Okay. Cat clarifies. It. So we're all set on the one dollar.